Hello everyone. Welcome to Masters Pharma Academy. So today we'll discuss uh, TSPSC Drug Inspector Mock Test One paper discussion. So we have conducted Mock Test One uh, in our application, mobile application, and today we will discuss about that questions in detail. Okay. So how to eliminate the options? How to answer the questions? How to analyze the question? So that we will uh, discuss now. Okay, are you ready? Yes, ready to go. Fine. So the first question: the time duration for the pasteurization. Okay. So the time duration for the pasteurization is right. So options are thirty minutes, twenty minutes, fifteen minutes, eleven minutes. Okay. So, what are the what is the correct answer? Can anyone? Answers. What is the duration of pasteurization? So, there are different types of pasteurizations. Okay, different methods. Right. Okay. Good. Very good. So now the answer is thirty minutes. Okay. Answer is 30 minutes. The original method of pasteurization that was 30 minutes, but there are different types of pasteurization. So that I will explain advanced, advanced methods, of, advanced methods of pasteurization. So there are different types: ultra pasteurization, right, and uh, thermization. Okay, so that we will discuss, right, one by one. So the milk. So whatever the milk we are uh, getting from the Dairy industry, okay, especially from our Telangana Vijaya Dairy, Amul, so many, so many are there. So whatever the milk we are getting, they are pasteurized, okay. So how they are doing the pasteurization? So generally the milk heated at 70 to 74 degrees, right, 15 to 20 minutes. That is the general method, okay. And there are different types of uh, methods of pasteurization, and based upon the temperature which we are using, that will deviate the time. Okay, that will differentiate the time, right? So if you are using 72 degrees, then 15 seconds. That is, okay, continuous flow, HTST and HSST pasteurization, right? So continuous flow pasteurization. So like this, uh, okay. So there is, there are. Wait. Yeah, so there will be two pipeline systems will be there. Okay, so here. Okay, so this will be heating, so heating chamber. So here the milk will be heated. So this is a continuous flow. The milk will pass through these pipes, these uh, tubes. Okay, this will be heated. Okay, this is a heating place and, and this is the cooling place. So this is cooling place. Yeah, this will be the cooling place cooling tube cooling chamber so the milk will pass through here heated and then it will pass through the cooling place and then it will be collected into the packets right so this way milk will be pasteurized right that is continuous flow continuous flow right so once the milk collected from the animal buffalo then it will pass through this pasteurization chamber first it will be heated the the temperature here Temperature and Martha, okay. Equa temperature unte taqua time unter, okay. Taqua temperature unte equa time unter, right. So atla, ikadam heating unter, ikadam cooling unter, itla pasteurized. So 
so there are of pasteurization methods right okay yeah this is what this is what i wanted to uh, uh, explain right so whenever the milk milk enters right it contains different types of bacteria okay different types of microorganisms in the milk and when it pass through this heating place heating pipe so the enzymes which are present in the milk they will be denatured and they will become non functional okay then when it comes to the cooling place the enzyme continue to the cooling and still it unable to function but it 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 is present in the milk and then it will enter into the uh, particular uh, packet or whatever the containers which we want to use right so that's how this particular uh, pasteurization will be done and these are the methods remember but normal standard methods will be 30 minutes 63 degrees centigrade 145 degree fahrenheit right okay right next question in hospitals yeah in hospitals the surgical instruments and plastics were washed with okay so the options are ethylene oxide iodine tincture and chlorine what is the answer can i write it it's a screen Yeah, what is the answer? In hospitals, the surgical instruments and plastics were washed with. okay right the answer is ethylene oxide okay ethylene oxide right what is the concentration of ethylene oxide so we discussed ethylene oxide also used in ethylene oxide also used in other place that is in sterilization ethylene oxide right what is the concentration of ethylene oxide okay right so the answer is ethylene oxide and then ethylene oxide is a colorless gas used to make other chemicals that are used in making a range of products including antifreeze textiles and plastics detergents and adhesives okay and this also used in sterilization of equipment okay sterilization of rooms sterilization of rooms right so the concentration of ethylene oxide is 450 to the concentration of ethylene oxide is 450 to 1200 mg per liter okay 450 to 1200 mg per liter right okay so the time duration will be maximum 1 to 6 hours so the ethylene oxide sterilization addition time duration will be 1 to 6 hours right and there are different types of sterilization methods uh, we discussed yeah that anyway we'll discuss in coming uh, uh, questions right next question so that is ethylene oxide structure and then next question for the purification of swimming pools and water right supplies chemicals used in so swimming pools ni purify cheyadaniki em chemical use chestaru right so the answers are alcohol chlorine iodine heavy metals alcohol chlorine iodine heavy metals
Okay, right, very good. The right answer is chlorine, right? So, what is the atomic number of chlo uh, chlorine? Periodic table, atomic number of chlorine. So, because it is uh, generally in general science, uh, you need this kind of information. So, what is the atomic number of chlorine? Very good, 17. Okay, so the atomic number of chlorine is 17. So, this chlorine is used, right? So, OCl minus, right? hypochlorite in the form of hypochlorite so hypochlorous acid they use to purify the water in swimming pool okay so like that okay next question the temperature required for the sterilization by dry heat sterilization what is the temperature so there is a range different range so as we discussed based upon the temperature that that duration will change okay now what is the temperature? So options are 180 degrees, 183, Yeah, good. 180 degrees, right? So that that will vary. I will tell you what are the different conditions for dry heat sterilization. Already we discussed in the class. Okay. So this uh, uh, under dry heat, there are again different types of sterilization. Incineration. Okay. One is incineration, right? Heating directly. So we we will uh, make the loops. Okay. We will make the loops. Uh, uh, culture loops will be directly heated. Okay. That is incineration, right? Okay, so this uh, there are different types of uh, sterilization methods we can see here. Okay, so physical methods under physical methods, heat and the radiation and then filtration. Okay, under physical methods of sterilization, heat under heat again we we are uh, we were discussed different types of sterilizations. So that is dry heat sterilization and moisture sterilization, and then radiation sterilization also comes under physical sterilization. And that is again non ionizing and ionizing. So, non ionizing examples infrared and UV, right? UV range and ionizing, which is X ray and gamma. So, these are very, very important. You must remember. Okay. So, which one is ionizing? Non ionizing and example. So, non ionizing radiation, okay, will be performed by, by using which source of uh, uh, chemicals and adutor, right? So that is very important. Okay, so under non-ionizing infrared waves and ultraviolet UV rays, ionizing which is X rays and gamma rays. Right? These are very very important. You must remember. Right? Okay. Again, under filtration also comes under. Uh, 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 sterilization, uh, physical filter, physical sterilization. So the pore size 0 0.22 microns. Okay, so 0 0.22 microns, 0 0.22 microns. The pore size will be. So this you must remember. The pore size 0 0.22 microns. Membrane filter pore size 0 0.22 microns. 
and then here again we discussed dry heat sterilization and moist heat hot air oven hot air oven and moist heat autoclave with general questions and then other dry heat red heat flaming incineration hot air oven okay so this here uh, we can okay so the, in this way we can use different uh, physical methods for sterilization and then in this context you must remember in this context you must remember the biological indicators okay biological indicators very very important you will get one question 100% pakka vastadi already table ichanu okay moisture sterilization emo bacillus stereothermophilus spore form spore form mathrame use chestam okay spore form bacillus stereothermophilus spore form use chestam and then dry heat ke emo bacillus subtilis var niger bacillus subtilis var niger dry heat ki uh, biological indicator and then ionizing bacillus pumilus ionizing bacillus pumilus okay radiation sterilization gas sterilization bacillus subtilis same bacillus ki uh, then dry heat ki same biological indicator use chestam right so these are the very very important biological indicators one must remember right and then next question chemical used for the removal of microorganisms from the mucous membrane and skin called so the options are detergents antimicrobial agents disinfectants then antiseptics yeah any anyone can answer okay this is simple question but it will confuse sometimes you 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 must answer carefully right okay the answer is somebody saying d a okay it's chala important simple questions you should not confuse right the answer is antiseptics okay answer is antiseptics right because on the uh, organs body organs we use antiseptics okay inside mucous membrane okay living tissue living tissue skin okay ivanni యూజ్ అంటే యాంటీసెప్టిక్స్ యూజ్ చేస్తాం అండ్ డిసిన్ఫెక్టెంట్స్ ఏమో మనం ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ మీద యూజ్ చేస్తాం సర్ఫేస్ ఓకే డిసిన్ఫెక్టెంట్స్ వచ్చేసి మనం ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ మీద యూజ్ చేస్తాం సర్ఫేస్ మీద రైట్ ఇట్లా వెరీ డిఫరెంట్స్ కంపల్సరీ గుడ్ పెట్టుకోవాలి రైట్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ హౌ మెనీ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మాసిటికల్ ఇన్కంపాటబిలిటీస్ ఓకే హౌ మెనీ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మాసిటికల్ ఇన్కంపాటబిలిటీస్ ఎనీ వన్ ఆన్సర్ okay i will give you options don't worry 1 2 3 4 okay what are the how many types of pharmaceutical compatibilities okay good there are three types of uh, pharmaceutical incompatibilities okay so physical chemical and therapeutic three types of pharmaceutical incompatibilities right so here what is what is the meaning of incompatibility okay what it will do okay so pharmaceutical incompatibility will make the pharmaceutical product undesirable so it will affect the products safety efficacy appearance and stability okay safety miss out the efficacy miss out the appearance miss out the stability miss out the that is pharmaceutical incompatibility right there are different types as we discussed so physical chemical and therapeutic uh, pharmaceutical incompatibilities so main ga what are different types based upon what uh, they will uh, classified they are classified that you must remember right so we will see what are the different types of incompatibilities right here so therapeutic incompatibility means drug drug interaction okay so one drug affects the other drugs efficacy other drugs activity right so that is pharma it may affect the pharmacokinetics it may affect the pharmacodynamics of the other drug okay this is called therapeutic incompatibility right then coming to the physical incompatibility 
physical incompatibility so insolubility of prescribed agent in vehicle solubility okay solubility will be uh, disturbed okay then immiscibility of two or more liquids and then liquefaction of solids mixed in a dry state right so this is called physical incompatibility and then coming to the chemical incompatibility so oxidation hydrolysis polymerization isomerization decarboxylation absorption of carbon dioxide combination okay then formation of insoluble complexes this comes under chemical incompatibilities there are different reagents different examples so you must remember all these physical and chemical incompatibilities right okay next question next question which of these is the culture medium of mycobacterium tuberculosis okay which one will will be used to detect the mycobacterium which culture medium used for the detection of microorganism okay so that is wilson blair meet jensen medium macconkis medium none of the above okay the right answer is lowenstein jansen medium okay lowenstein jansen medium so the answer is lowenstein jansen medium right this will be used for the identification of mycobacterium tuberculosis okay so this is very very important because tb diagnosis lo we uh, we use this medium uh, lowenstein uh, jensen medium in identification of tuberculosis isolation of mycobacterium tuberculosis mtb right okay then the other mediums what is a wilson blair medium what is wilson blair medium used for wilson blair medium also known as bismuth sulfite agar medium okay bismuth sulfite agar medium right this is also called as wilson blair medium okay wilson blair medium okay so this is also important medium which will be used to identify the salmonella typhi okay typhoid uh, uh, culture typhoid microorganism isolate jalanti we use wilson blair medium which is also known as bismuth sulfide agar medium okay detection for salmonella tb chemo jansen okay tb chemo jansen lonston medium salmonella typhi chemo bismuth sulfide agar that is also known as uh, wilson blair medium okay wilson blair medium okay good and there are other other mediums we will discuss here okay so this particular macconkey medium this is also very very important this macconkey medium will be used to identify salmonella species shigella proteus and enterocolitica mainly the macconkey medium used for the enteric bacteria enteric ante intestine lo unna bacteria ni identify cheyadaniki macconkey medium use chestam okay and important so this macconkey medium will not be used to identify streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus pneumonia and pasturella and virulence of streptococcia this we will not use to identify these microorganism will use for only enteric bacteria okay intestine lo unna bacteria especially e coli and then as we discussed salmonella and shigella proteus species so this enterococci or e coli ki use chestam that is macconkey agar medium and then what are the different other other medium so this is macconkey uh, representation so again important point you must remember here macconkey medium there are two different types so fermenting bacteria unta nemo pink color istar okay this is pink color so non lactose fermenting bacteria kemo colorless istar okay if bacteria which is present in enter uh, enteric system if it is lactose fermenting or non lactose fermenting ane differentiation chestar macconkey medium so fermenting at the name pink color was the non fermenting at the name colorless was the this is how the uh, 
मैक कॉम की मीडियम मैकोंकी मीडियम विल बी डिफ्रेंशिएट द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम राइट ओके नेक्स्ट वॉट आर द अदर मीडियम्स सो इफ वी डिस्कस अदर मीडियम्स लाइक इज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन क्वेश्चन वी विल गेट फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ कंटेंट ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज नोट इट डाउन ओके वॉट आर द अदर कंटेंट अदर मीडियम्स विच वील यूज सो एज वी डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी दैट इज मैकोंकी सो वील यूज फॉर culture of gram negative bacteria that is e coli and then blood agar medium okay this is for streptococcus okay streptococcus and then chocolate agar hemophilus influenza influenza okay influenza ki use some chocolate agar and then deoxycholate citrate agar same salmonella species and shigella and important thiosulfide citrate will use for vibrio cholera cholera ओके कलरा की एम मीडियम यूज कलरा ऐसोलेट दट तयोसलफेट सिट्रेट मीडियम अंड दे फ्लर् सीरम स्लो ओके लो फ्लर् सीरम स्लो वी यूज फर् डिप्तीरिया ओके डिप्तीरिया ओके डिप्तीरिया ओके दिस्ज डिप्तीरिया करोना बैक्टीरिया डिप्तीरिया रईट अंड दे लो इंस्टेंट जैनस आलरे बी डिस्कस्ड मैको बैक्टीरिया ट्यूबर क्लोजिस these are the important mediums so as pharma background we must always concentrate only disease related and uh, causative agents uh, related mediums only not other mediums that's enough okay uh, good next okay next question the bcg vaccine is administered for immunity against malaria tuberculosis jaundice and hepatitis okay malaria tuberculosis jaundice and hepatitis right anyone answer okay right the answer is tuberculosis right tuberculosis so what uh, what medium will use uh, what culture medium will use to identify the tuberculosis what culture medium will use identify the tuberculosis johnson okay lowenstein johnson medium please remember right so the question is asked in different types of competitive exams related to pharma especially assistant professors and then scientist exam so how many types of tb is there how many types of tuberculosis 1 2 3 4 options how many types of tuberculosis is there 1 2 3 4 can anyone answer types of tb options okay you need options right 1 2 3 4 types of tuberculosis how many types of tuberculosis is there okay so this is how the bcg vaccine right so how bcg vaccine will act so in traditional vaccination what will happen it will activate the adaptive cells that is t cells and b cells 
and they will fight with the antigen they will fight with the bacteria so by bcg vaccination live attenuated vaccination what will happen so already pre activated innate cells will be roaming in our body pre activated innate cells so whenever the particular antigen will be encountered encountered by the immune cells directly monocytes will engulf the bacteria monocytes will engulf the bacteria so that is called direct vaccination okay that is a bcg vaccination right and this is how the mechanism it will act okay in bcg vaccination direct monocy monocytes will be engulfing the bacteria and here the t cells adaptive adaptive cells b cells t cells will be uh, acting against the bacteria right okay as we discussed there are other routes okay bcg vaccination routes this is very very important bcg vaccination route bcg vaccination routes so there are different types of routes different types of routes so okay there are nasal so recently the bharat biotech identified uh, discovered and they manufactured and they released the they released the nasal vaccine okay they released the nasal vaccine so that is cut out in there they released the nasal vac vaccine okay idi charapura andi jodu idana mottam idi cut out in there okay so they released nasal covid vaccine okay nasal covid vaccine nasovac by bharat biotech okay nasovac by bharat biotech so there are different types of routes for vaccine delivery so first nasal right for influenza live vaccine and then oral and buccal sublingual rotavac mean this is very very important rotavac so generally children uh, they will take this uh, rotavac and then cholera vaccine also okay oral and then there are other routes also but not there are no examples for this and then important intramuscular route okay intramuscular route what are the vaccines administered by intramuscular route okay so enterix b hepatitis b bharat biotech again this is also discovered by bharat biotech enterix b right recombinant and this is given by intramuscular route right and another important thing is polio inactivated so what is the polio inactivated uh, vaccine example what is the name of that vaccine inactivated so there are two vaccines right polio vaccine there are two vaccines polio vaccine what are those two okay very good okay that is killed vaccine inactivated means killed vaccine so that will be given by intramuscular route and the other route subcutaneous okay subcutaneous mmr vaccine measles mumps rubella live vaccine measles mumps rubella live vaccine which is given by subcutaneous okay these routes are very very important because covid nunchi gaane lekapothe meeku different vaccine nunchi question vache chance untadu kabatti ఏ వ్యాక్సిన్ ఏ రూట్ లో ఇస్తారు అనేది ఇంపార్టెంట్ అందరం స్కిన్ లో ఇస్తామని చెప్పేసి బట్ స్కిన్ లో కూడా దేర్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ యాంగిల్స్ యాంగిల్స్ ని బట్టి రూట్ చేంజ్ అవుతుంది యాంగిల్స్ ని బట్టి ప్లేస్ చేంజ్ అవుతుంది ఇంట్రా డర్మల్ కావచ్చు సబ్క్యూటేనియస్ కావచ్చు ఇంట్రా మస్కులర్ ఇట్లా ఇస్తేనేమో ఇంట్రా మస్కులర్ అవుతుంది ఇట్లా కొద్ది యాంగిల్ చేంజ్ అయితేనేమో ఇంట్రా డర్మల్ అవుతుంది రైట్ ఇట్లా కొద్ది ఇంకా యాంగిల్ చేంజ్ అయితే సబ్క్యూటేనియస్ అవుతుంది సో అట్లా మీకు చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ రైట్ సో అదర్ అదర్ ఇంట్రా డర్మల్ బిసిజి వ్యాక్సిన్ ఈస్ గివెన్ బై intradermal bcg vaccine intradermal bcg anagane tuberculosis you must remember the lonson janson medium right and bcg vaccine right and then what is the route that is intradermal intradermal route anedi chaala important okay intradermal route bcg vaccine right and polio vaccine intramuscular okay mmr vaccine subcutaneous then sublingual oral vaccine vachesi cholera vaccine rotavirus vaccine 
ఓకే అండ్ దెన్ నేజల్ వచ్చేసి ఫ్లూమిస్ట్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెంజా లైవ్ అండ్ నౌ వీ ఆర్ కోవిడ్ ఆల్సో కోవిడ్ వ్యాక్సిన్ ఆల్సో ద డిస్కవర్డ్ ఇన్ నేజల్ రూట్ ఓకే రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఎ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మెడికేషన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ అప్లై టు ట్రీట్ ట్యూబర్ క్లోసిస్ ఈజ్ ఓకే రెస్పాన్స్ టు డిక్రీస్ ద రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎంటిటీ ఆఫ్ టు ద ట్రీట్మెంట్ బోత్ ఏ అండ్ బి నన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎబో ఆన్సర్ so this is very uh, easy question so to generate a better response and to decrease the resistance because tuberculosis drugs will get the resistance easily so that's why we use combination therapy and that is mdr xdr okay drug resistance mdr treatment xdr treatment like that we use right so combination therapy we use for the treatment of tuberculosis and then diagnosis of tuberculosis turning challenging why why it is becoming challenging there are what are the reasons this is takes years to become active and symptoms are irregular they appear and then vanish symptoms are not very obvious and prominent always both a and b what is the answer okay the answer is this is takes year to become active that is latent okay, generally nowadays so many cases are reporting that uh, and they are pro- they are suffering with the tuberculosis because in rural area especially they will uh, they will assume that okay drug goes in the poi rmp dagar kelli medicine iskuntaru konna rolu relief ayipothadi malli they will be uh, forgetting that this is again after months again the, that will become severe again they will go to cough tablets and again like that atla ante severe vachanta variki ad identify kaadu that is the biggest challenge for the tuberculosis disease right it of tuberculosis produces tuberculin it is an what what it is called enzyme hormone endotoxin exotoxin enzyme hormone endotoxin or exotoxin okay the right answer is endotoxin okay endotoxin lps also endotoxin remember lipopolysaccharide is also endotoxin which will cause fever right so here tuberculin also tuberculin is also called as endotoxin this is also called as endotoxin because it will create the antigenicity of that particular bacteria okay cause to agent antigenicity deeni valane vastadi endotoxin valla right okay ikkada you must remember one important point so what are the main symptoms of tuberculosis okay so symptoms of tuberculosis central nervous system lo nemo appetite loss centrally and fatigue these are the main symptoms that is pulmonary tuberculosis and then lungs low chest pain okay and cough prolonged cough untadi so these are some general things and skin low chest night sweat and pallor night sweat such the mania right these are the main symptoms and then it kills more than 1 million people a year see very dangerous okay 1 million people a year chanpata unnaru because of this disease because treatment resistance okay drug resistance is the biggest problem identification is the biggest problem diagnosis is different prop the biggest problem that's why um, 1 million people are dying because of tuberculosis right then this is important and interesting question how which i asked earlier how many types of tb 1 2 3 4 5 6 only two types of tb is there one is active and latent manam anukuntam brain tb lung tb bone tb one untai kada sir avanni type lanta avanni gaavu okay so that will not comes under the different category there are only two types of tb this question came in the scientist exam icmr all written exam lo vachindi how many types of tuberculosis options 2 4 6 8 okay so manam iga two aithe anta takkunda ga brain tb untadi lung tb ana question deviate ay chance untadi kabatti only two types of tb untadi that is active and latent tb right so this latent is asymptomatic remember 
asymptomatic or non contagious right and then symptomatic contagious positive in blood and skin test rendittlo skin test lo matram identify avutadu right next again activity below two types of tb untadi right so pulmonary tb involved in lungs and extra pulmonary tb right other than lungs so other than lungs lo manaki different types of tb vastadi right so tb lymphadenitis lymph node lo tb vastadi bone tb gur untadi bone lo tb vastadi right miliary tb bone marrow liver spinal cord brain heart what organ kuda tuber ante tuber if you left untreated the tuberculosis will spread all other organs okay that will become more uh, dangerous so genshare tb genshinals and urinary tract infections liver liver gura tb vastadi then git okay peritoneum pericardium skin tb okay so different types of tb is there but according to classification only two types of tb extra pulmonary lo ivanni different classification vastadi malli but actual type such as only two two types of tuberculosis e untadi remember right okay the dental formula of man is very very important dental formula of man can anyone yeah fine options so i means incisors okay that i will explain what are those what are different types of any one answer a okay good right so the answer is a this one is the answer okay 2 1 2 remember this okay how many teeth are there you, how many you have okay this study do right 32 1 lo raalipothe kodte right that we know and different types right there are two incisors and like this okay canine incisors and then molar premolar molar okay molar lo first molar second molar third molar okay first molar second molar third molar and second premolar first premolar and these are the canine okay these are the canine and later incision and central incision so itla idi one one range mala same it untadu right so this is how the man's dental formula okay human beings dental formula 2 1 2 3 2 1 2 3 right remember this esophagus connects ease of anatomy question general questions esophagus connects mouth to throat throat to stomach then mouth to stomach stomach to large intestine the answer is throat to stomach okay throat to stomach so here the esophagus manaku already telusu if you see the structure anatomical structure right this is esophagus okay this is esophagus and this is trachea okay throat to stomach ee madhyalo untadi right remember pharynx amo then pine undadi pharynx this is pharynx this is pharynx this is esophagus this is trachea don't get confused right so the esophagus is also known as food pipe okay esophagus is also known as food pipe enzyme renin used in digestion secreted from stomach liver intestine mouth stomach liver intestine mouth okay the answer is stomach this is simple simple questions okay these are simple questions so renin released from the stomach cells okay so whenever it is react with the hcl it will become activated renin will be activated in the presence of hcl right so renin is produced only in infants okay so it helps in coddling of milk right sphincter prevents regurgitation of food from the stomach okay ee anatomy path gurtu pettukovali important 
anatomical parts are very important. Cardiac, sphincter, sphincter of OD, bimetral valve and villi. Okay, the answer is cardiac sphincter. Cardiac sphincter. Okay, cardiac sphincter. I will show you the diagram for that. Okay, so this uh, this is the cardiac sphincter, stomach key, then esophagus key connect out to the cardiac sphincter. This will prevent the regurgitation and this is fun. The cardiac sphincter number one and then pyloric sphincter. So these are the two important ones you must remember. Pyloric sphincter is the intestine key, then stomach key. Cardiac sphincter is Esophagus ki, stomach ki madhya lontadhi. These two are very, very important. Right? Okay. Proton pump inhibitors are most effective when they are given. In which route? So, after meals, shortly before meals, along with H2 blockers, during prolonged fasting periods. Okay. The answer is? Oh, very good. Okay. Answer is shortly before meals. Okay. Shortly before meals. So the efficacy, the absorption of these drugs will improve if you take just before the meal. Okay. That will improve the absorption of these drugs. What are the examples for proton pump inhibitors? Joules, okay, lansoprazole, pantoprazole, all joules, right? So, uh, some of the important points related to the stomach, okay, you must remember. So, the stomach secretes number one HCl, and then bicarbonates, pepsinogen, mucus, and prostaglandins. These are the important chemicals secreted by the stomach, okay? HCl, then bicarbonates, pepsinogen, mucus then prostaglandins. These are secreted in stomach and what are the cells? They will secrete different kind of chemicals in the stomach. Peritial cells will release the HCL. Okay. HCL. Chief cells will release the pepsinogen. Chief cells will uh, release the pepsinogen and pepsin. Okay. Then mucoid cells will release the mucus okay mucus secreting cells that is it will protect the mucus coat right self digestion by hcl and then what are the important glands of the stomach okay cardiac pyloric and then gastric okay so among this these are the more common and largest in number the okay? gastric glands right so, e, e points important good but call the MM secret out there, economy secret out there. What are the important things regarding stomach? Which of the following drug is a stimulant laxative? Okay, which of the following drug is a stimulant laxative? Which of the following drug is a stimulant laxative? You know the answer we discussed in the previous uh, paper also. That is Senna. Okay, Senna is a stimulant laxative. The short term ways to read the constipation. Constipation like you just done. Okay. We use in constipation. Right. Platelets are formed from the following types of cells. Okay. Melanocytes, macrophages, astrocytes, and megakaryocytes. The answer is megakaryocytes. It's a simple question. Don't waste the time. Okay. So platelets are formed from megakaryocytes. The production of platelets released from the megakaryocytes. And then frozen plasma must be thawed in water bath at what temperature? Okay, frozen plasma ekada thayesam. At what temperature we will thaw the? That is the answer is 75 57 degree is the Okay, that is D. Very good, right answer. 37. 37 degrees. It is very important to uh, to thaw the frozen plasma at 37 degrees centigrade. High temperature leads to precipitation. The color code of plastic bag for disposing of microbial laboratory culture waste. Okay. Color code. We discussed in biomedical waste management. 
what are the color codes different color codes black red blue white color codes for plastic bag for disposing microbial laboratory culture a a color the options are black red blue white okay that is answer is red color microbial culture kabatti dangerous kabatti red color use chestam red color covers used for disposing of microbial wastage so these are the very important there are there is a chance to get a question from this point red microbial waste gloves iv bottles and urine bags dialysis kits okay there is a chance for microbial presence and then this is for pathological waste okay placenta post operative body parts body fluids face marks cytotoxic expert discarded medicines also comes under lo okay then white translucent lenemo needles okay especially needles and blades and scalpels this will be under white and blue ochesi meku glass broken glass okay ampules nails metallic body implants scissors this will blue okay yellow red white and then blue okay next question choose a structure known as the pacemaker of the heart from the following av node sa node av bundle 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 of his okay so what is answer okay right answer is sa node very good right answer sa node right so sa node generates electrical okay so this is very very important sa node will generate the electrical signal to the heart so this is how the uh, pacemaker okay pacemaker will be installed in the inside the body and it will connect to the sa node and this sa node will maintain the electricity to the heart okay where is the aortic wall located in the heart where is the aortic wall located in the heart right atrium and right ventricle right ventricle between the left ventricle and the aorta ventricle then left atrium and left ventricle okay the right answer is so e parts anatomy parts kuda ikkoda good pet call heart stomach intestine okay ee anatomical parts important good pet call right okay the answer is between the left ventricle and the aorta so this is how the aorta this is aorta okay ikkada meer good pet calls ni endante ee position ekkada undi okay okay this is inferior vena keva superior vena keva aorta okay right so this articles and ventricles this is ventricle and this is articles atrium right then the heart receives its own oxygenated blood supply via coronary arteries pulmonary veins coronary sinus foramen oval right very good right answer is coronary arteries okay so a heart receives its own oxygenated from coronary arteries okay so this is pulmonary trunk and this left coronary artery so this coronary artery exports the blood to heart okay its own heart heart ki chel okay and then name given to the remnant of the opening of the fetal heart opening untadi okay fetal heart lo general ga opening untadi okati normal ga so opening name antaru normal ga adult lo undadu adult lo close ayipothadi but fetal heart ki oka hole untadi dan name antaru 
coronary sinus overlay foramen inter uh, interatrial interatrial septum and fossa ovals okay the answer is fossa ovals okay is a hole present in the infant heart okay so depressed structure varying shapes located in inferior aspect of to the right intraatrial septum so this is how this is adult heart and this is there is a hole there is a depression okay there is a depression present in the infants that is called foramen oval this is not present in the adult heart only it's present in the children's heart okay cardiac muscle cells differ from skeletal muscle cells that skeletal muscle cells are voluntary but cardiac muscles are not skeletal muscles are branched but cardiac muscles are not or multisate but skeletal muscle cells are not cardiac muscles are synctium and uh, skeletal muscle cells are not what is the answer okay the right answer is so skeletal muscle cells are voluntary heart muscles are voluntary okay whereas skeletal muscles are not voluntary okay we'll see the difference between these two uh, cells okay this is skeletal muscle cells okay skeletal muscle cells nucleus muscle fiber and striations and in cardiac muscle cells there is intercalated discs were there so continuous voluntary non voluntary contract relaxation avuta untadu kabatti intracardiac disc will be there and striation will be there and nucleus will be there so this is extra okay this will create non voluntary then smooth muscles muscle fiber untadi nucleus untadi so these are the major differences between the cells skeletal muscle cells cardiac muscle cells and smooth muscle cells so cardiac muscle cells are not valent so they are involuntary in normal ecg trace what does qrs wave indicates okay qrs wave indicates depolarization of the atria repolarization of the ventricles repolarization of the ventricles the answer is qrs we call it tells qrs ante okay i will show you the picture depolarization of the ventricles that is qrs in ecg right so this qrs okay e wave ni qr tp p wave pr okay then qrs right so din time avutunte ventricular depolarization avutadu okay ventricular depolarization avutadu that is called qrs wave important okay this action potential travel through the bundle of his and bundle of branches and parkinji fibers okay that is qrs event which of the following devices is used to monitor the activity of the heart ultrasound sonograph magnetic uh, mri and ecg none of the above this is simple question that is ecg right everyone knows so electrodes untai so different places lo vedtam here arm then chest then legs QRS. Where does the heart sends the deoxygenated blood for oxygenation? Simple question. Simple questions. Don't get confused. That is lungs. Okay, right. These are simple questions. Some. What accelerates the heart beats? Cranial nerves and acetylcholine. Sympathetic nerves and acetylcholine. Cranial nerves and adrenaline. sympathetic nerves and epinephrine the answer is sympathetic nerves and epinephrine okay sympathetic nerves and epinephrine will accelerate the heartbeat the second heart sounds dub are associated with the closure of lub dub lub dub lub dub okay lub ante indi dub ante indi లబ్ అన్నప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది డబ్ అన్నప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది అది కూడా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి రైట్ సో ట్రైకాస్పిడ్ బాల్ క్లోజర్ ఆఫ్ ట్రైకాస్పిడ్ బాల్ క్లోజర్ ఆఫ్ సెమిలూనర్ బాల్ 
closure of bicuspid valve and uh, closure of bicuspid valve. Then to repeat and the same. Okay, the answer is semilunar valve. Okay, closure of semilunar valve. So that is dub sound. Okay, the first, the first heart sound is associated with the closure of tricuspid and bicuspid valves. Second, it is associated with the semilunar valve. Okay, so tricuspid, bicuspid first, semilunar second, lub, dub. Okay, so this is very, very important, you remember. Okay. So first lab lab sound which is closure of AV valves first lab lo lab and MM author. Okay, first closure of atrioventricular valves, beginning of ventricular systole, and then again it will longer than the SZ and then carotid pulse. So even events of the lab lo. Okay, this is the first okay, second lone. Then next second dub dub lo m the semi lunar valve. Semilunar valves close out, uh, close out, hai. then end of the ventricular systole. So the diastole start with the systole close out, hai. diastole start out. Hai. These are the very important heart sounds. Good pet call. Mana love, gunde ko, gunde lo sounds hai na apur aim mau thune hai. Good pet call. Important. Mana good pet call. Good pet ne onta. Right? We don't heart sounds. Right? How much time? does the cardiac cycle can take okay 0.5 seconds 0.1 second 0.8 seconds 0.9 seconds right very good 0.8 seconds okay so cardiac diastole so the inter total period of chassis manaki 0.8 seconds so cardiac diastole is the major okay that will take 0.4 seconds ventricular systole will take 0.3 seconds and then Atrial systole will take 0.1 second. Okay, so it will make three stages. Okay, cardiac cycle low, cardiac cycle three stages. First one cardiac diastole 0.4 seconds, ventricular systole 0.3 seconds, atrial systole 0.1 second. Right, important. So this is how the cardiac cycle will be. So you can start out with it, right, ventricular filling out of it, then atrial contraction out of it. Then you can see ventricular systole start of the ventricular systole, then atrial systole is very short. Okay, we are atrial diastole long, 0.4 seconds, 0.3 seconds, 0.1 seconds. Okay, it's a good pet call, it's all important, right? Which of the following does not act as a neurotransmitter? Okay, acetylcholine, epinephrine. Acetylcholine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and cortisone. Okay. So problem. Right here. So cortisone. Okay. The cortisone is a stress management. Okay. Cortisone is a stress management hormone, stress response system. So whenever the stress is there, stress activates the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus activates the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland releases the acetylcorticotropin thyroxine hormone and then it will activate the adrenal gland then cortisol will be released okay in the stress and then it will further activate the immune system okay then cerebellum function includes breathing balance and coordination voluntary movement voluntary movement and involuntary movement okay so that is Cerebellum involves in balance and coordination. Very, very important. Cerebellum is a bit midbrain. Okay, so this is important. Do you remember the point? Cerebral, cerebral hemisphere. Okay, diencephalon. Cerebellum is a midbrain. Okay, dean ki stem ki dean ki madhal Okay, that is cerebellum. Then brain stem, pons, and medulla oblongata. So these are the important organs of the brain. The brain stem is composed of okay brain buds and flowers spinal cord axon and vertebra medulla pons middle brain tissue so the answer is medulla pons and middle brain tissue okay so i'll show you the picture brain stem so thalamus here 
ఇది బ్రెయిన్ స్టెమ్ దీనిపైన బ్రెయిన్ ఉంటుంది ఓకే సో మిడ్ బ్రెయిన్ క్రీనియల్ నమ్స్ పాన్స్ మిడిల్ అబ్లాంగిట సో ఆర్డర్ గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి దాట్స్ ఇట్ ఓకే వాట్ కనెక్ట్స్ టు హెమిస్ఫియర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్రెయిన్ వాట్ కనెక్ట్స్ టు హెమి పాన్స్ పియా మ్యాటర్ కార్పస్ కొల్లజం అండ్ డైన్ సెఫలాన్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ కార్పస్ కొల్లజం ఓకే కార్పస్ కొల్లజం connects the two hemispheres of the brain so here okay two hemispheres this is one hemisphere and this is other hemisphere corpus callosum okay corpus callosum fluid filled cavity in the brain is called as a fluid will fill in a cavity ni em antaru matter cavity meninges ventricles okay the answer is ventricles okay so brain lo kuda ventricles untai there are different types of ventricles so here you can see the different types of ventricles lateral ventricles intra interventricles foramina and third ventricle and cerebral aqueduct and fourth ventricle and central canal so idantha fluid anamata okay so idantha fluid pass avta untadi cerebro spinal fluid which part of the brain controls higher mental activities like reasoning so reasoning meer reasoning practice chestunte a brain ekko functioning chestadi ante which part of the brain will act active more okay that is frontal lobe so in this part okay frontal lobe will be more active that will involve in the reasoning okay so this frontal lobe is very very important ankane manam itla vaddam ankonde mentally mentally disabled avaru okay idu chaala important this this part is chaala important mental and physical uh, frontal lobe okay this planning problem solving motivation judgment decision making okay personality memory is all involved by frontal which part of the brain controls emotion experiences okay which part of the brain controls emotion experiences sir pia membrane limbic system middle oblongata okay limbic system okay emotion experiences okay emotions edavadam atlanti anni ekkada edi control chestadu ante that is limbic system world health day is world health day world health day okay 7th april very good right answer okay world health day uh, celebrated on 7th april this month only okay by who world health organization located in geneva comprehension of written and spoken words takes place in the region a region lo isukuntaru motor area brocas area the association area and vernix area okay vernix area will involve comprehension of written and spoken words takes place in the vernix area brain okay the decoding and interpretation of visual information are carried by peritoneal lobe frontal lobe occipital lobe temporal lobe the answer is temporal lobe so ivanni oka table raskondi make a table so edi ekkada frontal lobe emo reasoning planning memory okay then this kind of spoken words vachesi ఇంక ఇంత ముందు లింబిక్ ఓకే దెన్ దిస్ ఈస్ టెంపోరల్ లో రైట్ సో అట్లా మీరు ఒక టేబుల్ రాసుకోండి దట్ విల్ బీ ఈజీ టు రిమెంబర్ రైట్ దెన్ ఆర్బర్ విటే ఆర్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ సెరెబ్రమ్ సెరిబెల్లం మిడ్ బ్రెయిన్ ఫోర్ బ్రెయిన్ ఓకే ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ సెరిబెల్లం ఓకే ఆర్బర్ విటే ఇస్ ద పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ సెరిబెల్లం 
okay tree of life tree of life is is a important in cerebellum tree of life which function is associated with the pons okay sleep arousal relay of the information emotion memory and audition color perception depth perception pain perception vision and audition okay the answer is sleep arousal and relay of the information is the responsible for pons okay so ans activity and then optic neuritis is the adverse effect associated with clofazamine pyrazinamide ethambutol and capriomycin so the answer is ethambutol okay ethambutol is used in tuberculosis treatment and it's a bacteriostatic antimicrobial medication that is associated with the tuberculosis what is the first generation fluoroquinolone what is the first generation fluoroquinolone classification important you will get pakka one question from classification okay mainly antibiotics lo nunche meku one or two questions pakka direct vaste classification nunche okay prantosil cephalothene nalidixic acid chlorotetracycline first generation okay nalidixic acid is a first generation of fluoroquinolones active against gram negative which of the following drug used in the treatment of urinary tract infections metronidazole cefixime nitrofurantoin and all of the treatment of your utis okay that is important nitrofurantoin used in the treatment of uti urinary tract infections find out the antibody that contains steroid ring steroid ring antibody penicillin fusidic acid novobycin dirithromycin so this is very important question peptide antibiotic steroid antibiotic so ee ilanti chaala important gurtu pettukovali okay that the answer is fusidic acid is containing steroid moiety sodium fusidate okay sodium sodium fusidate anti cancer drug belongs to inorganic metal complexes Docarbazin, cisplatin, methotrexate, vincristin. The answer is cisplatin. Okay, very good. Right answer. Okay, this is a inorganic metal complex. Okay, the last question: the antibiotic for cancer chemotherapy. Cytorubin, doxorubicin, gentamicin, etoposide. Simple question. answer is very good okay that is so sorry doxorubicin this is not gentamicin also gentamicin also yeah okay we'll do one thing we'll stop here at uh, 50th okay so we'll discuss in the next session so the remaining questions we'll discuss in the next session those who are not able to attempt the question purchase our uh, test series and then uh, we will add to separate batch then we'll discuss in the mobile application okay go to our play store you can purchase uh, with paper gpad or uh, drug inspector paper discussion session then you can attempt in detail paper discussion will continue in the mobile application okay yeah we'll end here thank you for attending uh, tspsc drug inspector mock test paper discussion we'll continue in the mobile application and contact uh, reach out us then we'll explain how to attend paper discussion in mobile application in our mobile application thank you so much